Hi everyone, I'm Andy Davidson. I'm the author of The Boatman's Daughter, uh, which just came out this past February from MCD FSG Originals, and I'm also the author of In the Valley of the Sun, which has been chosen as a 2020 Summer Scares read. The inspiration for the book came when I was painting a fence in my backyard one hot August. As you can see, it's a lot of fence. When you're standing in your backyard, just moving your hand up and down over and over again for hours and hours in the hot sun, you get ideas for things. Your mind wanders. I was listening to music, actually, on my iPod, and Dwight Yoakam's cover of that old Johnny Horton song, Honky Tonk Man, cycled through. And um, I listened to the first lines of that song while I'm painting the fins, and I thought to myself, this guy, this guy is kind of sinister. Uh, the first line goes, I'm a honky-tonk man and I can't seem to stop. I love to give the girls a whirl to the music of an old jukebox. Um, and I thought to myself, what if this is a confession? What if he's admitting to something here through metaphor? Um, and I thought, well, what, what would he be confessing? Is something he does with women that's, that's not... Oh, he's a serial killer. So the first draft of that book kind of came out of that, and it was called um, Honky Tonk Man, very original. Stylistically, it drew from several sources. It was part gritty South, which inevitably means certain influences, as well as others who are influenced by the same influencers. Um, but it probably owes its greatest debt to No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy which that's a very stripped down novel compared to McCarthy's other works. No Country almost has more in common with hard-boiled crime fiction, which is really what my book was in the first pass, a uh, crime novel. It was not a horror novel. There was nothing supernatural about it. Um, but when I finished it, I set it aside and I came back to it as I tend to do with books to revise it. And I realized that it wasn't speaking to me. Uh, I didn't really like it. It wasn't interesting to me. And I thought, well, if it's not interesting to me, nobody's going to want to read it if I don't want to read it. So I thought, well, what do I do? What's missing? And at the time, I happened to be reading Salem's Lot by Stephen King, which I had read as a kid. And horror novels as a kid, that was my foundation. I read King. I read Kuntz. And so I thought, well, what if I turn it into a horror novel? and add a supernatural element to it. And of course, since I was reading Salem's Lot, I thought, well, vampires. Of course, at the time, I gave no thought to whether vampires were popular in publishing, uh, which you don't do. You just write the book you want to write. Um, but what I really found in the process of finishing that book is that I hadn't so much found my calling as a writer, but sort of rediscovered it remembered it, maybe. What I love about horror as a genre is that it can serve as a bedrock for so many different types of stories, all of them touching upon our collective fears, uh, but also in the best of them, our collective hopes and aspirations. Um, we want to survive. We want to live. We want to love. And there are forces out there that would keep us from those things. And uh, horror, I think, reminds us of what can happen if we lose hope or if we lose empathy for our fellow human beings. Um, what's a monster story if not an exercise in empathy? Um, so that's why I love the genre. Uh, I sincerely hope you enjoy In the Valley of the Sun, and thanks for reading, and stay safe.